Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. In my previous tutorial, I had explained what is SC Linux and AVC denial errors in Android. So in today's session, we will be seeing how to solve few AVC denial errors in Android. So let's get started and by the way, this is Dimple here. Before moving on, we'll just have a recap of what is AVC denial in Android. So SC Linux is security enhancement in Android which was introduced to restrict apps or services or processes in accessing the device resources. So when an application tries to access a particular file, the C Linux policy execution server in the kernel will check the access vector cache. Access vector cache is nothing but AVC. So the SC Linux policy execution server will check this particular cache. In this cache, in AVC, apps and files with all the permissions will be cached. That is, which app can use which file, which process can use which resource, all of that information will be cached in this particular AVC cache. Based on this cache, security server will make decision either to allow or deny access. That is what is AVC. So in that particular cache, if permission is allowed, then AVC denial error will not occur. If some uh, file or if some app don't have permission to access a particular file based on that cache, then AVC denial errors will occur. So that's all. Just remember AVC denial means when a particular app or uh, service or process don't have permission to access a particular resource on your device, AVC denial errors will occur. So in SC Linux, all access must be explicitly authorized. SC Linux does not allow any access by default regardless of user or group ID. This means that in SC Linux, there is no default user, super user or root user. So we'll see in this slide what is SC Linux allow rule. So SC Linux allow rule will consist of four parts. First one is source type. This is usually the domain type of the process that is trying to access. Second one is target type. This is the type of the object requested to access by the process. And then comes object class specifies the allowed access type of the object. Then comes the permissions. See, this is an example for the allow rule. Allow my process. So allow this process to access my file and the permissions are enclosed within curly brackets. So the permissions are get attribute read. So I have the permission to read the file and open the file. If this particular my process does not have permission to access my file, the time AVC denial error occurs. So here denied for what source context we have to check. Source context is my process. T context means target context. Target context is my file. So source is my process. It can't access my file and the type of the class is file. So I hope this is clear. This is how the allow rule looks like. Allow the source, the context, and within curly braces, we put the permissions, what it can access. So now uh, let's move on and see the steps in resolving AVC denial errors. First step, very simple, log into your build server. So here I have attached a screenshot of my build server. Just log into your build server and navigate to Linux Android folder. Second step, navigate to Android folder and give source.build slash env setup.sh. So uh, prepare your environment. You have to set up your environment. That is the second step. Third step is that you have to execute lunch command and select the target build. So once you prepare your environment setup, next you have to execute the lunch command and you have to select the target type. 
Fourth step is you have to navigate to Android external SC Linux pre-built slash bin folder. So just navigate to this folder. Here is the folder which contains audit to allow and audit to why. These are the two tools which help in uh, solving the AVC denial errors. So what is this audit to allow? Audit to allow is a tool which will generate SC Linux policy allow rules from logs of denied operation. So if I give a log of AVC denial log, if I give from that log, it will generate the AC Linux policy. For that purpose, we need audit to allow tool. And what is this audit to why? Audit to Y is a tool which helps in translating SC Linux audit messages into a description of why the access was denied. So these are the two tools present in the bin location. And I have added one more uh, text file, avc underscore denial dot text. This text file, what it will do, I have just copy pasted my avc denial error inside this text file. Create a new text file and copy paste the avc denial error inside this text file. So far so good. Let's move to our next step. So step five, we have to execute this command audit to allow minus p followed by um, dot dot slash which says that we are navigating backwards to which folder we are going to out target product and inside product you'll find the device name folder so give that name and then sc policy intermediates and uh, input the avc denial dot text so this is the file where my avc denial error i have copy pasted so same way i'm in bin folder and i'm just executing this command Test avc 2txt is the file which contains my avc denial error. So if this is successful, then we can see the output here. So the output here is platform app. It's telling platform app. Allow platform app to access device character. The file type is char file and the permission given is open. So this is the SC Linux policy rule which is generated. So this rule has to be added in platform app dot PA file. So uh, this platform app is the hint. It will tell in which dot te file you have to add so here if system app comes then you have to add it in system dot te file so to search the location of the te file you can just use the command locate space in my case the file name is platform underscore app dot te okay that is step six so step six is search for the dot te file and add this rule in that file so if you use the locate command you will get the location of the te file if you open the te file it looks something like this it contains multiple allow permissions so here allow adb daemon and for security purpose i have masked the app name so these are the permissions, create directory permission, create file permission, allow system server binder call. So this is how the TE file looks and whatever uh, policy is generated here, whatever rule is generated here, this rule has to be added in this particular file. After these six steps, you have to build the source code and you have to flash the device to avoid AVC denial errors from now on. So that's it. After executing all the seven steps, now if you build and flash your device, that AVC denial error will no more be seen. So this is what I wanted to tell you all in this tutorial. I hope it was informative and helpful. Thanks everyone for watching. See you all in my next tutorial. Take care. Bye.